Okay, I think I want to use my association action and get one of these universities. We're in the five spot and we only need four. I'm going to grab this one right here, I think. Put it at the bottom of this university track. So now we have a research icon and this is going to increase our reputation by two. Nice. Now I think I'm going to go ahead. Now I can't afford to play both of these animals. That's my problem right now. So I'm just going to play one. And I'm actually going to play this lizard. So we're going to activate the animals. Normally if at this level we could play two animals at once. So I'm only going to play one. It's going to be this lizard. It's going into this two enclosure, two sized enclosure. Normally that would cost 12, but because we have this uh, partner zoo, it's three less because it comes from Australia. So it's only going to cost nine. We get five appeal. And the special ability is sprint one, draw one card from the deck. Whoa, we got a science museum. That requires all of the research in the world. Oh man, each time you play a research icon to your zoo, gain a conservation. Wow. And like I said, we have 16 money there. And that's not going to be enough to play that guy. So we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so now that I have my cards action in the five spot, I want to activate it because if you look over here in the five spot, you could draw three and discard one, or you can do something called snapping, which means grabbing a card from the display. This is going to let me snap it up, and I really want this guy right here. This broad snouted caiman. I'm going to add him to my hand, and then we'll slide everything up. There we go. That was the turn. Okay, we have the sponsor here. The sponsor card, that would let us play one of our sponsors. Do we want to go ahead and just play the veterinarian now? Possibly, possibly. We could skip that. I think what I want to do is I want to do an association task. I'm in the three spot, so I can actually put, do a partner zoo. And I want to get one for the Americas. Oh, and sorry, I got to... Oh, actually, I can't do that because I needed to put this guy here for when I got that university there. So I can't do that. Back it up. Back it up. Can't do that. Forgot to put the guy out when I grabbed that university. Ooh, okay. So the only way we could get to do that is if we were to somehow get another one of our workers, which I wouldn't mind trying to do that. Let's go ahead and play this sponsors card. This is going to let us play those blue sponsors from our hand. Can only do one of them. And let's go ahead and put this veterinarian out there. You can see here we had to be in spot four. We are, it's fine. No prerequisites. He's actually gonna give us here a nice little uh, research icon. So we now have two research icons. And his special ability is now we can do this action here where we can support one of these conservation projects for one less so we can be in the four or the five slot to do that and it looks like we get a little instant money here so for every university that we have oh yeah here it is one two three we would get two five or ten so we only have one so we're getting two bucks and then at the end of the game if we have all three of the universities we'll get one conservation point you can only have one of each. You can't double up. So if we were to get those two by the end of the game, we could get an extra conservation point, which could be very handy. I think we want to play an animal. So we're going to activate our animal in the three slot. That's going to let us play one animal from our hand. And I want to play this caiman. It needs to be in a four space enclosure that is also adjacent to water. And we have that right here. This symbol means it could also go into a, uh, a reptile, a special reptile enclosure, which is a special building that you can't build until you've upgraded your build action. Reptile house. 
So we haven't done that yet, but it can fit in this enclosure right here. It's going to cost 16 money. Flip that over. We get six appeal. And it says we can gain any one card from the display. Okay, I think I see one that I really want, and that's that one right down there. This is a special conservation project that we'll be able to play, and it says it requires an herbivore and a partner zoo of the same continent. Well, we have an herbivore, but we don't have an African partner zoo. But in our hand, we have this red kangaroo that we're hoping to play herbivore, and we do have an Australian partner zoo. So we should be able to play this next round once we get that kangaroo out. Got one more turn this round, and we only have two bucks. I don't have too much I can do right now, so I think I'm just gonna draw a couple cards. I can draw two and keep one. Ooh, this bald eagle. Gotta like him. Look at this monkey, he's so cute. Yeah, we'll keep the bald eagle. Okay, so we've reached another break. We have to discard. The question is, do we want to get rid of the science museum? I don't think so. I think we want to keep this. We might be able to do this. And I like my red kangaroo. I'm going to get rid of the bald eagle, actually. Would have been nice. We still don't have any tokens. We get this guy back. Those two go away. We slide and refill. And now our income. We're at 22... 23, 24, 25 because of our kiosk. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I say let's do our association. We're gonna put this guy over here. We're gonna get another university. We'll get this university here. And we're putting it here, which is gonna let us upgrade one of our cards. And what card do we wanna upgrade? I'm thinking maybe build. Yeah, I think I want to upgrade build. And now we have enough research in order to play our science museum. So that'll be good. Nice. Yeah, you know, now that we have our build turned over, it uh, does some special things. The first thing it does is that we can now build more than one building. We can build a bunch of smaller little buildings if we want. It's just that the maximum total can't go above whatever slot we're in. In this case, five. And it still costs two bucks per space. But it also is going to let us build some special buildings, including the, the large bird aviary. But more important to us, the reptile house. And that's what I want to build. I want to build the reptile house. The reptile house looks like this, and it lets you house some of these reptiles. I believe it costs 10 to build these, because it is five spaces. And we can place it right here if we wanted. That'd be a nice spot. Ooh, but we have an issue. We don't want to do that, because if you see here, this caiman needs water, and our other lizard here, frilled lizard, needs a rock. And so we need to somehow place this so that it will be adjacent to both water and a rock. Oh boy, can we do that? Now you can't cover those things up is the problem. Oh no, we didn't think about that. Because if it's right here, it's just adjacent to a rock, and so we could only fit that little guy. Oh, wait a minute, like that. Woo, okay, there we go. That's a very odd placement, but it works. <laughs> so now we're adjacent to water and to the rocks. Let's see, what did, did we cover up anything? Yeah, we covered up one of those X's and this spot, which is gonna let us draw a card either from the top of the deck or based on where our reputation marker is. 
So let's go ahead and put that like that. Get one of those. And let's see, we could draw one of those two cards. Those are interesting. Mm, not too interested in either of those. Let's just draw from the top of the deck. Ooh, we got a sun bear. Okay. And now once you build that, we can actually relocate some of our animals into that space. You can see here our caiman has a two in that spot. That means it's gonna take two of the five spaces to house it there. So let's go ahead and do that. So we just use our little extra markers to mark that off. And now that we've taken them out of the four enclosure into there, we open this up for somebody else, for another animal to go into. And then we can do the same thing with our other lizard. It only takes one space, but then we can open that up. Now we don't have to do that, but I want to. So that was that. Maybe we should use our sponsor now. Yeah, let's activate our sponsor so we can play this science museum. We now have three, four science, which is the prerequisite to play that. And we're in the five slot, so that's gonna work. Now this says each time you play a research icon into your zoo, you gain a conservation point. And the card itself, that's that research symbol right there counts for this ability. So we are gonna get one conservation. Our first conservation point. Oof, that's not great. But now in the future, anytime we play cards and stuff that have that research, we can uh, we can take it we can get a conservation point. And then also immediately, we're gonna get two money for every research icon in our zoo. So right now that is one, two, three, four, five. We get 10 bucks. Excellent. Okay, I think I'm gonna use these cards and just draw two off the top. Oh, look at this. We got a common wall lizard, which could fit into our lizard. It wouldn't even take up any space in our in our lizard enclosure. And then we got expert on Africa. Well, we don't have a lot of uh, stuff from Africa right now. Hmm, okay. Well, that was that. Well, I definitely want to play some animals, I think, at this point. And I can play two, so we might as well, right? I think we can afford this. Let's find out. <laughs> we definitely want to get the kangaroo in. We open this up for it, so that's great. And we get a three discount because of our partner zoo. So this is going to cost 20. Up in there. It's gonna be seven appeal. And we have two special abilities here. Pouch two, you may place up to two cards from your hand under this card to gain two appeal each. Well, I think we're definitely gonna do that because I don't see us doing the sun bear and we're not really doing stuff in Africa. So we'll put both of these cards underneath and get four additional appeal. Okay, and then this also says flock animals for may share the existing enclosure of a of an herbivore animal, but only if it's in a four or greater sized enclosure. And our only other herbivore was in a three. So unfortunately, they couldn't share enclosures. So we're just gonna have to ignore that. But then we'll play this guy. We could put him in this or he's a zero cost and in, into the thing. If we put them in here, though, that might be worthwhile. That'll give us an extra income from our kiosk. But no, I like the idea of just putting them in our reptile house. That's going to cost four. And that's two appeal. We're breaking. And what's our income now? We're at 25 there. 26, 27. Hmm. Okay. This isn't looking very good. 
I think we're kind of in trouble here. 